And just hours before Election Day, there is a major development in the race for Marion County Sheriff. Good evening, I'm John Stair. And I'm Andrea Moorhead. Well, the jail released a convicted sex offender a little earlier, and the court made that mistake. But Eyewitness News reporter David McAnally says that's not stopping the challenger from using it in the campaign. David? Andrew, the Republicans say that the accidental prisoner release over the weekend is the 23rd to happen in the last four years. So Republicans launched a major offensive against the Democratic sheriff today. But is it too little too late? Tory Parko, this convicted sex offender's accidental release from jail, threw a political hand grenade into the race for Marion County Sheriff. The day before the election, Mayor Greg Ballard showed up at the Republican sheriff candidate's side. We need new leadership at the Marion County Jail. Maybe they thought that this would be the best bang for the buck. Uh, I was kind of surprised we didn't see it maybe a week or two earlier, where they could have then used it like in an endorsement ad. But the timing, influenced by sex offender Tory Pargo's accidental release from jail Saturday due to a paperwork snafu at the court. But Republicans say the Democratic sheriff is responsible. Someone has to open the door, right? We will end the accidental release of prisoners. We will stop that. And I will never shift the blame to others. As sheriff, the buck stops with me. But he's had few bucks to get that message out in TV ads, while Sheriff Layton's been all over TV. But Monday, Layton left it to the Democratic Party chair to say it was the court's mistake the jail followed a court order to release Pargo. I think saying that you would defy a judge's order shows that uh, Mr. Carney really doesn't understand the job of sheriff. And the timing? It's certainly unusual for a sitting mayor and the leader of his party to wait until the day before an election to be seen publicly with his, uh, his candidate for sheriff. Can the late offensive hurt Layton? That's the worst thing that a sheriff wants to, wants to have to answer to right now. But the story is breaking so late, you know, uh, a lot of people may not hear it, may not absorb the, the true significance of it. But Emmett Carney says he is actually following in the footsteps of Greg Ballard, who seven years ago, as a virtual unknown with virtually no money, launched an organizational campaign of his own, relying on the grassroots outside of the Republican organization, and he ended up unseating a then-popular mayor. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.